Hello everyone, this is Raphael from FastGen and today I would like to show you how to connect a Webflow form to a FastGen database. So here in Webflow, I already created a contact form where we will get all of the answers from. And in FastGen, we are now going to create a new database. So click on database, add table, and we can call our database submissions. Then for the columns, we want to have our name, email, and message in here. Click create table. That's looking really good. And go over to APIs. And now we are creating a new API route because this is where all of the answers are going to be sent to. So we want to create a new post route and we can give it the name new form submission. And we can also change the URL path right here to form, set authentication to public, hit save. And now we can add our database query action because this is the step where the answers are going to be inserted into the database. We can call this one add to database and configure the query. What we want to do is we want to insert into the database called submissions. And we want to insert into the columns name, email, and message. And for that, we are going to use the values that we will get from our Webflow form. Um, for that, we go over to Webflow and click on the input fields because we will need from the settings menu right here, the text field name. So for name, this is name with a large N. For email, it's email with a large E. And for message, it's message with a large M. This is important because we will need this now here in FastGen. So we can now click on the variable body.data dot name with a large N. And then we go and also create this for email. So data.email and then also for message with a large M. Then we can click save and this should already work. We can add a small success message right here, call it success, hit save and deploy our flow. And now everything that's left to do is copy the URL that we have in FastGen right here. Just click on it and go back to Webflow. And here we want to open the site settings. In the site settings, we go over to apps and integrations and scroll down to webhooks. Here we click on add webhook. The trigger type should be set to form submission. The API version does not matter. V1 and V2 both work. And then for the webhook URL, we just paste the URL that we just got from FastGen. And then we can click Add Webhook. Now we can publish the site and test out if this works. So publish the site and go over to it. And now we can click on Contact to see our form. And here it is for the name. We are John. John at example com and our message is what is your fastest surfboard question mark hit submit and that looks good the form was submitted let's check over in fastgen if we see this in our database so click on database submissions and here we can see john what is your fastest surfboard great so this is basically how you can connect a Webflow form to a FastGen database and every form submission is added here. I hope this was helpful and happy building.